Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today we're going to customize SharePoint forms again using Power Apps. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and make sure to subscribe. So today we're going to look at the PMO SharePoint list we created a couple of uh, videos ago. And as you can see, I added uh, some more columns like financial status and timeline status. So that we have uh, like uh, here, like a, like a choice column and a couple of uh, multi-line text columns as well. So next we want to take a look at how to edit uh, this SharePoint form using Power Apps and see a couple of uh, cool features. So for that, let's select new. And here we can see customize with Power Apps. What I like to do is to have that SharePoint list open in another page so that uh, I don't have to go out of Power Apps every time I want to see how it looks like. And uh, for that, I'm going to open it in another page and have it open in parallel. So now that Power Apps has loaded, let's uh, customize and bring our fields into the canvas. I will uh, skip this forward since uh, we have already done that in the previous video. So now that we have our column set up, we can go on and do some uh, modifications. So first I want to do is to change this title. So this is called title because in the back end of SharePoint, the first column, it remains named title, but I want to rename this to not parent display, display name, but project name without a typo. Okay, so we have that. Let's change the background. Let's make it a little bit prettier. So make sure to select the SharePoint form on the left-hand side of the screen. And here, the color of the background, let's make it light blue, like one of our last videos. Let's make a little bit space at the top and a little bit at the bottom. And let's insert a label at the top. Make this darker blue, make the text white, bring in the middle, make a little bit bigger, and semi-bold. And what we want to say here, it's not just text, but we want to have the value of the project we are looking at. So when you edit an item into a SharePoint list, this form will open up and we want to say at the top the name of the project. Because imagine having many fields to edit. The project name is here at the top, so you're scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and you forget what project you're editing. So for that, we can bring the project name at the top and always have it there visible. So instead of text being just text, we can have the value of this item. And this is the, our data card value number one. So make sure to select the, the label you just created and write the name of this data card that you know you want the value from. So start writing data, card, and then it is number one. So select data card, not key, but value, number one. And now it is showing Contoso number one. So every time you change to a new project, it will show the, num the name of the project. So at the bottom we, have, we can have the information we had in our previous video as well. Let's make a little bit more space there and insert the picture. We can make the, the bottom as well look dark blue so that it's similar to the top. 
what we can also do is um, set a border around the sh this SharePoint form we have here in the canvas. So make sure to select the SharePoint form and here you have the border. Make sure that you make it uh, higher than zero, otherwise you won't be able to see it. Let's say for example two and select the color. Let's make it white. So as you can see now it has like a small border around it, separating it from, from the blue lines. So next I want to do is um, I want to create a toggle on and off true or false that will show and hide a couple of uh, detailed information that I don't want to see all the time. So as you can see here at the bottom, we have uh, created, modified, and so on and so forth. This is extra information that uh, I don't need to have all the time visible. So only if I want to check who has edited it and modified this item. If you select input at the bottom, it says toggle. So select that, it will create the toggle button. We can put it here at the top and make it another color that it looks a bit more, this way a bit more visible. So now this uh, toggle, if you would play it, it does nothing, right? It's just on and off. So we want when we toggle this to show this detailed information and when we toggle it off to hide it. So for that, uh, let's show me that again. So what we want to do the next is to select the item that we want to hide when we toggle this button, which is this card, created data card one. And at the visible property, which is in this drop down visible, it says true. We don't want it to say true. We want to say true if this is also on. So if condition, and now we want to find our toggle item. So inside our form screen one, we have the toggle button. We need to write here an if condition. So for that, write if, open parenthesis. Now write from where the logical test needs to come from. So from our toggle button, write toggle that value comma true else false. So now if we toggle this, we can see the created by and now it's gone. So you can see next steps and then it's created by me and then created by is gone. It jumps to modified. Next we want to copy this if condition and paste it into the rest of the additional information one height. So copy that. So we want to use it for the created by data card. For the created data card. For the modified data card, make sure that you go to the visible property and paste it in there. And last, modified by. Again, make sure that you are at the visible property and paste it there. So let's take a look now. And here, as you can see, it says created, created by, modified, modified by. And if we turn this off, it will hide everything. So we created a toggle button that shows additional information. Let's put a label next to it so that the user knows what this uh, toggle will do. For that, let's insert a new label. Let's make the control cell label a little bit smaller and show it to the left hand side. And the label we just created, let's make it also smaller, bring it at the top. Make sure that the color of the text is white so that it's readable. And let's write inside the quotes additional info. So now the user knows, okay, if I toggle this button, it will show me additional info. Next, I would like to show you a way of uh, making sure that the user has saved his changes. So when a user is editing this form, it will not automatically save the items. You, he, he will have to click on save. So to make sure that the user will save the changes, we can toggle an alert that says uh, you have unsaved changes. For that, Let's create a new label and let's bring it at the bottom in the middle. Make sure that the text is readable. Let's make it a flashy red. Make it semi bold and bigger. And let's bring it in the middle. So this text will now say you have unsaved changes. Let's make it a bit wider. I know it's ugly, but uh, 
it serves as a purpose. So next we want to make sure that this label is not showing in the whole time, right? We want to make sure that uh, when the user starts editing the form, the label will pop up and next time the same. So only if they start editing the form. So for that, we want to make sure that this label is hidden. So we will have to select the label, go to the visible property, and instead of true, we have to write SharePoint form one dot unsaved. So this means for as long as the SharePoint form is not saved, this icon will show. So now it says false because the form has been saved. If it is true, the label will show up. So let's test it. Select play. And let's make this two. As you can see, it showed up at the bottom. Okay, so let's uh, have a look how it looks like in our SharePoint list. Select file, save, and publish to SharePoint. So now it says all changes are saved and published. Let's take a look in our SharePoint list. We will have to refresh the page, of course. Select new. Now our Power Apps is loading. Okay, looks as we expected. Let's try create a new project. Let's make it a Contoso number five. And as you can see, it's showing at the top. So now when we scroll down, I mean, we don't have that many columns, but imagine having more columns than that. Uh, I think it's helpful showing at the top. Probably we should have put like project name. I don't know if anybody, I mean, they should know what, what that is, right? So let's copy it in there and customer code is D123456. It doesn't matter. The financial status, uh, timeline status, PM. It's myself. As you can see, it's showing you have unsaved changes because, because we still haven't saved the form, right? So at the top, um, so here some basic issues. Uh, I don't have any text here, but text, text. Text, 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 text. And now let's save it. We'll see it here at the bottom. And now if we select it and edit, it will open up our form, showing the project name at the top and so on and so forth. So if you select a field and write a text, write something, see, it will pop up. And because it has recognized a change in the form, that it hasn't been saved yet. And if we want to see additional info of who did what, we can select the toggle button at the top and now it will show from whom is what was created, when it was created and modified and so on. And if we don't want to see that anymore, we can always turn it off and it's a bit cleaner. So that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope you liked it. If you did so, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. So take care and see you on the next one.